Welcome back to the grand final. This is Rust Brain Cup qualifier number seven for Rust Brain Cup nine. The players so far in the tournament are Foggy, Cash, Please, Terra, Sonic, Spiral. The second last to join will be a Russian. It's either Sheik as the second undead or Maru as the first human. A qualifier so far. Maru has defeated Imperius. Ricky, star-shaped, and one in the bottom side of the grid. Sheik had an unlit mirror against Lubber, Toshby, Enter, and Death Note. So both fighting through strong brackets for this qualifier. And here they are, Sheik man. 23 years old only. The game has already started. We start where we ended up in the game three between Maru and Wan. It is... Amazonia to start this grand final, which is another best of three. Ashik, one of the attack. other super talented guys in Europe, along with Johnny Cage. Um, Maru, making it really far here. I always knew that he was a good ladder player, but showing today that he, even in the tournament setting, can be looking really good. Taking out Wam, that was an impressive performance. Sheik, perhaps even a little bit stronger. Oh, that was close with, with that Acolyte. Almost sniping the big boy. Doesn't quite get it, though. Sheik is opting for the instant harass here with his Ted Fiend build. But the IM um, takes out most of the camps. In fact, will get all of the rogues. Only the apprentice wizards are left. And this is why oftentimes from other undeads we will see not instant harass on this map, but rather creeping. Because AM level 2 can't be prevented. And the DK really can't find too much experience over here. He's going into the base, but Maru... Has his eyes there as well. Sheik moving the skeletons away. So not even giving that experience away to Maru to feed the Archmage even further. New skeletons summoned to get at least these little apprentice wizards. But Maru, again, attack. is this just his style that he does on Amazonia? Rushing into the undead base with the footman he has? But Sheik is much readier. He's got the Nero coming up already. The DK is coming back home quickly to be able to deal with this. There is a Ziggurat coming up as well. There's a Fiend in the making. And even the Ghouls are being sent over to the other side to be quicker to react. So Sheik is playing against this very, very well. And stole that last hit right there on the Rogue, right? Yeah. Getting him closer to level 2. Still not very close. But Maru's still stealing some experience away over here. Double Slippers and the Circlet. Well, Slipper's not really what he wanted, but uh, good experience at least. But you know what I want? More viewers like Friedolf, because that generous man had, has just sent us 20 euros to even increase the daily goal even further. Thank you very much, Friedolf. Thanks for being with us and supporting us for quite a long time already. Much love. Thank you very much also from my side. Sheik is having the wrong read here. He expects uh, AM to be over at the Kobolds and doesn't find him, so at least he's gonna go into creeping himself. But AM with very close now to level three. Oh, stealing the lab away from the enemy side. This would be the dream. Can he do it? Oh, he's looking for her ass, as it seems. Yeah, I'm not confident enough. Okay. But Sheik stealing the Kobold camp away is also really good. This is a very nice camp for the MK to creep if it's still available. So this is one of the one one of the number one camps for Under to try to steal along with the merchant. But the merchant is in a worse position and is harder takes longer to creep. But Maru also gets the Kobold steal on the enemy side. Oh, does he? Coil is coming in. A lot Sheik of should be able to get the big one with a coil that should be pretty easily doable. Pressures the footies. Body health also matters nice for the early tier 2 stages when the MK comes out. Coil should be ready again. Sheik is playing nicely around this. Not too many footmen left in this fight. So Sheik is gonna get it. Closing in on level 2 and a half for now. Oh, using the coil again and again the deny by Maru. Two coils wasted. And now he has no coil left for the Taskmaster. Yeah, and also the DK is super low HP, so pressuring MK creeping with that already is close to impossible. Maru is fine with this, even if he loses the Taskmaster last hit, which he won't, but even if he did, he's okay with that if the DK is as low as he is. DK gets the ring at least, but 
Death Knight below 150 HP. This MK should have a very tough, uh, very safe time creeping up now. Another donation coming in. Very fitting. Amazonia 92. Uh, on this map, of course, very nice. Five euros. First time I remember seeing your top 100 re replays. You guys save Walker 3. Thanks for so much. Damn, you've been with us for a long time as well. Thank you very much. And Joe blocks one, two, three with a prime sub. Thanks to you as well. So, MK comes out, is not going for the merchant creep first, which is normally always Player his first go to place. Attack. Yeah, wants hmm. to pressure the DK a little more, but cheek backs off with his DK. Already forced into a potion. Yeah. Goes for the safety heal pot. Even if he doesn't need it and he keeps it for the late game, can be valuable, can save your hero. And it's only 150 gold, it's not that expensive. Both heroes super low. Thank you, Nem182, for the 713 sub. But yeah, he needs to focus on levels now. Finally, level 3. But Mountain King getting level 2 as well. Solo creeping. Archmage in the main. Rushing tier 3 this time. No expansion like he did against one. Yeah. Doesn't feel far enough ahead to go for the tier 2 expansion. Instead, plays it like he was on Concealed. Uh, with the tier 3. Pretty clear game plans here by Maru. I like this. He has ideas of what to do and depending on how the game goes, he's going to adjust for what's more suitable. We have an item that might change a little bit of the late game. Rune Bracers oh, for the so Undead. That is outstanding. Especially against Maru. Slap that thing on the DK. It's very hard for Maru to resist trying to focus on the Death Knight. <laughs> on the other side, we got the very same item. So, less nuke ability for the undead with these rune bracers, especially great for the Mountain King, who is always in the front row. Yeah, but MK gets to creep to level 3 before the first big fight. This is one of the things that human really hopes for. And that was basically all down to the DK going so low HP in the early game. Here, big potion. More levels close to three. We'll get it with this one. Oh, double Slaughterhouse and a Crypt Lord for Sheik. Whoa. Playing old school A bombs with Impale. That used to be the perfect counter build against tier two human rifles. But against tier three, it becomes a very different story. With Inner Fire, they become much stronger. Paladin comes in for healing. And the way this used to work in the past is A-bombs mostly tank and spread a bit of AoE disease cloud damage. And the heroes behind them, in the meantime, take out the rifles and casters with more spells round after round. So I feel like this looks a bit like an antiquated strategy. I haven't seen it work in a long time either, except for my low-level ladder games. You can play Pit Lord there, so that doesn't say too much. Red spot very early. That's usually a human thing to do. But Mario is giving him the time. Waiting for the tier 3, waiting for the Paladin, waiting for the necessary upgrades. A player's forces are under attack. He has no master yet. And that is a fairly easy red spot. Yeah, so experience on the grip card, super valuable. Level 3 on that hero is still very strong. War Song Battle Drums. That's also pretty strong. Wow, he's, he's close level 3 already. My goodness. <laughs> Forget sometimes how much experience this guy has. Yeah, it's, it's a lot. Still only dual hero for Maru. Red spot as well. With Rifleman, you gun this down rather quickly. Good one for the MK, but no aura. It's gonna be level 4 AM. That's really, really nice. Oh, and Sheik is going to go for a bit of economy harass here, as it seems. With illusions. Oh, no. This Doesn't army looks greater than it is. Is he really going to try to force a fight right now? He doesn't even have his A-bomb tech ready yet. Oh, wait. If he can't deny the uh, shop... Oh, there is the orb. I thought for a second there's no staff, no orb. But, okay. Oh, impale. Everything's done, but barely any follow-up.
Yeah, it's, uh, it doesn't really look like she can have enough firepower over here. That was an insane impale, though. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Perfect angle for this. Disease Cloud Abomination coming in as well. Is it time to nuke the Paladin? Healing used. Oh, Coil Nova! Not Oof. calculated or a little bit of like low RNG for Sheik in this fight. Maru fighting him back. There is still danger for this Paladin. Long range impale. Can he coil him? Yes, he can. Paladin down. Can there be a revenge kill? Mountain King has an invul, can dive. There's a coil in a bit, waiting for the cooldown. Mountain King in trouble as well. Invul potion for now. Coil on the fiend instead of the lich because there's an invul. What a fight for Sheik. Gonna get one more kill on the way back. And this uh, somehow seems to be working out. MK has a few more spells to use, but no healing at the moment. It's the heal pot at the very least. Militia have to be called again. Another Stormbolt is ready. So is the, the Nova. MK might be dying. Is there a staff? There isn't. Nope. He killed the shop before the staff, right? So only the Archmage remaining. And there's another Impale. There's another Coil. But the Paladin is back as well. It was only level one. Oh, the lid. Again? The next. <sighs> impale. To save this lid. And the invul but this must be a oh, potion he wants to stay in this fight he wants to end the game right now but maybe it's not enough the statues in the back are doing god's work so the dk needs to be careful now and will be forced to tp out wasn't okay there's no mountain king this time but wasn't the one game a lesson to not be that <sighs> that uh, overconfident with your dk Dude, but Chica's a massive supply. Yep. He's got mass A-bombs coming in. Yep. Double. Maru took, he just took way too much damage. His biggest flaw there was the Paladin positioning. It's easy to run in front with a Paladin because you have him in the same group with everything else. But honestly, there's n Paladin should never be in the front line. Paladin should always be standing in the back. Especially if he's level 1. No TP. For Sheik, going potions instead. No invul this time. Claws for the Lich, really good. Maru has to camp at home, wait for the Mountain King to come back. Oh, I love the cannibalize. Get that free healing. Wow, okay. When do we ever see this? <laughs> it looks it's so cool. It's not that rare, but every time you're completely blown away. <laughs> like, this, this jaw animation of the Abomination is just gorgeous like a snake unlocking his jaw and then eating everything oh it's so cool so master training is coming he's waiting for that rushing to the shop not even oh he doesn't even have the resources for an invul Sheik with an expansion he is in full control oh impale of oh nothing nice. because there is a storm ball to shut him down nova on a water elemental interestingly good damage on this crypt not so far but here's level three and guess what he's going for this impale hits everything great damage mitigation good dps against the rifle as well militia coming in aggressive coil nova against the mountain king but he is safe for the time being but so many a-bombs maru doesn't have the firepower yet to deal with these a-bombs he doesn't have enough rifles and the next impale is coming in <laughs> one after the next hitting like crazy sweet heal scroll though good micro on these abominations Counter surround on that Lich, needs a coil, gets it. No consumables on Maru, except the TP. Killing one abomination now, but I guess this Mountain King, no! Snipes the Paladin and there will be a follow-up. Invul Potion for now. Not using it, not using it. Is this a little too brave? Yes, it is, because there's Impale. We were doubting the Crypt Lord, but why? Remo, why? He's doing such a great job. In this game, yeah, doing a pretty good job, that's true. GG 1-0 for Sheik with the old school Crypt Lord Mass A-Bomb strat. But that was kind of, uh, a little bit at least, Maru's fault. He overexposed his paladin like crazy and the shop did not die. The shop remained yeah. alive this whole time and yeah. he never got a staff. Yeah. Which could have saved him on multiple occasions.
When that last engagement began also, did you see the difference in healer positioning? DK was standing behind the A-bomb front line for most of that fight. Paladin, once again, was in the front. You need to protect that Paladin more. Yeah, like you can't really afford to lose him on level one. Um, that's always a key moment in the game. Like, can this Paladin rise to at least level two to be a little more safer with Divine Shield? And yeah. then advance into level three when he becomes really powerful that is where the map is really difficult for human in the late game it's so hard to creep with the paladin because of how late he comes out yeah so the two you mad players against each other match points for shake on last refuge <laughs> and thanks to an anonymous user who gifted a sub to our beloved bot muddy Thank you. He deserves it. Nine months already. LR, earlier here we saw the Beastmaster Expo strat. <laughs> mm -hmm. We see that again. You want to see it again? Or will we see it again? Well, it was a question. We'll ah, okay. Again. Well, I after don't... the uh, non existing success. Of the first attempt, I would rather not say so. Yeah, I don't think so either. But yeah, interesting choice here. Choosing this map by Maru, it doesn't seem like a very good human map if you're not expanding. I guess the upside is there's more creeps here. Heroes will be able to creep up better, especially MK can creep up very well on the early tier two stages. But for the AM, it is a tough map in the early. We'll see how it goes. We have Sheik in the lead in the top right. Looking very strong today. But Neo, he, he knew this all along. He has been telling us of the wonders that Sheik has been able to achieve. Isn't that right, Neo? He's pretty good, man. He's pretty good and plays a lot at the moment, as it seems. Lots of Chinese tournaments, doing well for you, Mad. I like to see him in the Rust Brand Cup. For sure. Bottom left is Maru. Upper right, Sheik. These new generation of Russians, like, they're all pretty likable from what we see. Johnny Cage, Sheik, Maru as well. There's no Sonic in the likes of them. Sonic can be likable as well. Yeah, absolutely. But also have a little tantrum going on. He is quite unique, true. So, DK, AM. No MK, no... Dreadlord, but a second Ziggurat by Sheik. Ooh, okay. DK, Exo? Hmm. No Graveyard. He's sticking with Ghouls for the early. Yeah. That's interesting. That is super unusual. Normally when you go Ghouls, you go fast Crypt. Slightly delayed altar. I don't even know what to call this build. This, this, this build doesn't have a name. It's the Sheik build, maybe. <laughs> Let's see what he does with it. We'll see soon enough. Acolyte scouting reveals He's the artifact. He's going to go for level 2 early and then go run by style? A player's I don't know. Forces are under this is uh, very outside the norm. Huh. Scouting Acolyte is still alive. Is he planning to expand? He moves it to the expansion for sure. Not gathering more. you have enough ghouls, ghouls, they can creep the natural by themselves. That takes four to five to six ghouls. Well, he's certainly building them. Four on the map, two in the crypt. But Maru knows, right? He can go for the trolls and then are under attack. move over. So the tech begins. No tier 1 expansion here for Sheik. Ghouls at the moment still in their uh, sleeper state. Not activated yet. I watched some Homeland back in the day, Neo. I know about these spies. Oh, me too. The first seasons were really good. 
And then... I love Saul Berenson, dude. He was such a cool guy. Who? Saul Berenson. The, the old guy with the beard. Oh, yeah, he's great. And what a beard. Great. Phenomenal beard. Phenomenal beard. He, he is the same guy as Diego... Maradona? Atena, or whatever he's called from uh, Princess Bride. I am Diego blah blah. You killed my father. Prepare to die. You remember? Uh, Princess Bride, maybe not my movie. But uh, you're... the Remo calls, yo. Six ghouls moving yeah. out, solo creeping, and the DK is harassing. I'm so smart. A player's forces are under attack. Uh, Sheik is attacking though, halfway through. With the lich so late, like, can you hold this? I mean, Sheik feels very... Wait, he's, he's attacking as well, halfway. He's attacking and expanding at the same time? Sheik, you're not playing Night Elf! He's playing Ghouls, though. Ghouls can solo creep quite a few camps. And they get you a lot of lumber as well. Question is, Maru gonna scout this? This is such a super weird build. Nobody plays this. No. So baffled to see this. Ghouls are hurt, of course, but they will be on blight. That's fine. Now the graveyard, a little late. DK also hurt. Can he steal? No, not really. This is a little Murloc, and that's level two. It's quite big. Yeah. More important than uh, stealing the skeletons down or stealing the creeps down here, though, is keeping the AM busy. Keeping him on his side of the map, buying time for that expansion. This is such a fun build, dude. It's so risky, though. Like, if Maru decides to creep on the other side, and perhaps Militia creep the Murlocs or something for level 2, this all falls apart. Kind of a gamble build by Sheik, but yeah. it's working out. I mean, if it's scouted, then it's most likely killed. If it's not scouted, it can win you games. Yeah, I think it's it doesn't even have to get scouted to like for the human to have a chance to like Maru could just counter expand right now on tier two. That's no. probably what he should do. He's playing double sanctum, no no rifle. What? On. Playing mass casters. Hmm. I mean casters are very good against ghouls. If there's no dispel. Thank you, Anonymous, for a second gifted sub to Mobot this time. Also a very uh, supportive program for our channel. Much appreciated. I feel like Maru's gonna scout this and overreact and think he has to all in. He can still counter expand. But it's time to get pretty late. Why would you go break curse against mass ghouls? Remo? Are you coming? Doesn't seem to make much sense, to be honest. Okay. We'll see if he has an idea how to deal with this. Oh, you know what I'd like to see? Just like take all the ghouls, make even more. And always be ready to counterattack. If Maru pushes, just hit him in the main. With like 12 ghouls, I mean, so the militia can't defend. It's open, right? Yeah. Okay, Players Maru's going for the counter expert. Did he see the expansion? I don't know. By the way? I don't know. The ghoul gang, ready for the run by. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, DK is not here. Lich is not here. They're creeping this. Roll of the beast. Uh, Sheik is actually taking a lot of damage from these creeps because he's only doing it with the heroes. Meh. A little weird. But okay, tier 3 is coming in. Star-shaped. Wasn't it Sheik who played versus you on LR where you played the Pally Rifles and he counter-expanded against you or something? That was Sheik, right? Ooh, the Lich, by the way, double claw and boots and an invo potion. Yeah, that was Sheik. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> cool, man. Sheik, an undead willing to play two base versus two base yeah. versus human. 
Don't have that too much. Double shop, one slaughterhouse. And sniping the next item. And getting a shredder. And a shredder, yeah. He had that against star shaped as well. Oh, is he trapped though? <laughs> this is such unusual underplay. It's like run bys, item sniping, weird units. Good chick is so cool. I love me some oh, yeah, chicken. Zeppelin drop! The Zeppelin drop with the shredder. He did that against star shaped as well. <laughs> Oh my god, Sheik, you beautiful bastard. Militia called already, giving him some mining time. Better splits, and there is of course a coil, and a Nova, and some right clicks. Oh, he dodges the arcane tower burn with his yeah. Nice. Sheik is pretty good. Damn, really impressed. Mountain King gets some levels though, plus three big mana. Is he going to clap? No. Like, it's three peasants dying, but it's also effectively so much lumber missing. What Maru really needs in this two base versus two base game is tier three. And he can't even go for a shredder now because it's stolen. <laughs> but, I but I think it's got a low cooldown, if I remember. I'm not too sure, actually. Is he... No. Okay, he's just checking for the rats, but I thought if he dives Players for the forces are lord right. now, then no. Damn, that's, that's a cool game. So mm. not normal. Man, chic. Chic. Do you come up with this by himself, or <laughs> is he a genius, or did it, is he stealing this from someone? I don't know, but I've not, I've never seen anything like this before. By the way, do you approve Maru's decision to go for bold and bash again? No. No, me, ne me neither. Me nämlich neither. Me nämlich neither. <laughs> I think Clap is almost always superior. Like, one in a hundred games you win because of Bash, but you win a lot more because of Clap. Or you win an entire uh, best of three against Swart. Well, he only won this year. Oh my god! Gets rewarded for the creative plays with the Katka's pipe. Dreadnought third, by the way. <laughs> He's going the melee build. He's going A-bombs and ghouls with upgrades. Well, you know what's pretty good against that? Clap! <laughs> Maru, you're gonna regret that choice very, very much. Very, very soon. Well, you know, there's a tomb of retraining. Uh, Take doesn't know it exists, but I'm pretty sure Maru does. <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> that was so funny. Maru, you need a shredder. You need a shredder really badly. Triple claw. A player's forces are under attack. That's also pretty good. That is such a cool build. It's not really very safe or reliable. <laughs> and I still find it cool. That tells you how cool it is. Yeah, you will never play this. No, never. <laughs> <laughs> he goes 2 1 upgrade. Dreadlord has a uh, carrion swarm. Lich has insane DMG because he finds the flute and it's plus, plus 26 now. And 65 supply undead melee. <laughs> yeah, breakers don't do very well against that. Tom of retraining. But, okay, level 4. 2-2 two, two build. And... Mid-Tech Expo. <laughs> yeah. This looked like kind of a 1-2-0 strat. Maybe 1-2-0 yeah. did it once, or was it seriously... And you know what? No, she came up with this. She came up with this. We just decide this now? Yeah, it's, no, it's, it's the truth. All the slow in the Zeppelin. Oh, that's a big catch. That's six ghouls in there. Oh! The gyro. Ouch! Oh. To survive! Stranded! Yep, he can't kill them, right? There's like four supply block now. <laughs> Oh, this Tom game. Hanks and Wilson on the island, dude. <laughs> <laughs> What's that movie called? Castaway? Castaway. Ich habe Feuer gemacht. Glorious. Yeah. A-bomb, um, ghouls, and wagons, dude. 
How cool is Sheik, man? Yeah, they share uh, the attack upgrade, so it's two old meat wagons. Sheik is so cool. When he was 13 years old, he was hanging out with 20-year-old guys. That's how cool he is. Okay, this army is looking pretty big, though. There's no vamp aura, by the way. It's just sleep and carry it, and the Dreadlord is so dead. That coil, and he could have even passed the Ankh, but decided not to go for it. And since the ghouls all died, this army is not super powerful, but the Lich certainly is. Not quite ready yet. No. Two eliminations were about to join the fight, sent him back. But that Two was without points. destroyers. Is he just refusing to make destroyers? Yeah. By the way, we confirmed that Your ghouls don't need air back. to survive. Look at the island. Underwater? This, yeah, his head is underwater for a long I mean, time. They're dead, right? No need for oxygen. They're undead. I mean, in World of Warcraft, we learned that undead can hold their breath the longest, actually. <laughs> actually, <laughs> did, Neo, did, did we learn that? Yeah, they have this passive uh, race trait. They do. Four, MK is four, close four. to five. Level three clap versus ghouls. <laughs> yep. Pretty bueno. Yep. Two two A bombs, by the way. How crazy is this? Three three is cute. Oh, Lich though caught off guard. This coil arrived. He wanted to get that clap in, but it was a little too late. Trying to reverse that nuke, but ah ah, invul potion. Can he take this fight? The clap. He to just just wreck him, right? And then there's the storm ball against the Lich. Oh, how's he doing this? Yeah, Almost clap clap. Five. There we go! Level oh. 5 MK! Oh yeah, baby! He's got one clap left only, though. Cyclone up in the air. That's it! Last clap! She is plummeting in supply. Lich reaches for the backline with the Nova. That was good. No mana on this Mountain King anymore. Of course, no Paladin. He's nukeable now. But has the invul Potion. <laughs> Not so much damage anymore here with the mana gone. Or neither side. Casual slippers on the ground. Of course. That's what you do. What's he doing? Coiling the Mountain King. Dodges with the invul. Nice. Maru. Super sweet place. But Disease Cloud. Even working against Breakers. One Nova. Two and a half. Level four Lich. Level four Lich indeed. Dreadlord is level three soon. And then the nuke becomes serious. <laughs> He's expanding bottom right. Yeah, of course he is, dude. <laughs> nice in the saves by Maru. Oh my god, this guy is so cool. Swag plays by Sheik. Absolutely. And here is where not having tier 3 is really starting to hurt Maru. You really want a Paladin at this point. Having no single target big heals in the super late game where heroes are so strong oh, yeah. is painful. Two ghouls in the main. I don't know if you got a new Zeppelin, but the two ghouls are back from their vacation on the island. And they have another fight here. No one the Mountain King. Pressure, pressure, pressure. But he has a mana potion. But not too many targets to clap, actually. Someone bolts around the DK. Mountain oh, King, left hand side. Coil again, but not enough. Was the heal scroll used? Nope. And Invis save on the MK. <laughs> the meat wagon. Shooting away. Slow is very useful against these abominations. Mass breakers. MK knows only one target. Sheik realizes MK was Invis, so he TPs out smartly. Clap! Dude, the sleep saved him, right? Otherwise, mana yeah. pot and clap. Yeah. Smart. Now, he used clap before. I don't know if the cooldown was off already. But that was certainly a help. So, is it time for Sheik to go away from this mass melee finally? <laughs> he should have done that a long time ago. But yeah, I mean, but now <laughs> he doesn't want to. They just go Garks or something. He's going to go down with his ship, man. Or he's going to take out the enemy ship. We'll see.
Kafka's pipe, by the way, very big help. We still hold on to the scroll. Three, three abominations by now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you say that, it is as and if it's the most they're still not really doing much damage outside of disease cloud. Eh, that's true. But against buildings, they're good. Oh, this is the dream position for Maru, though. Yeah. But he needs invuls. Can't. That was kind of a big mistake by him, not going for the invul. He could have just a second ago. Can go for heal potion, but that doesn't break the focus fire. Sleep again to prevent the clap. Trying to back off, but... Oh, going for the dreadlock now. Pretty much instantly surrounded. Oh. That could have been the hero kill. Not really. He still has the Ankh, right? He's still not passing the Ankh. He's losing the Dreadlord, but maybe getting the Mountain King. No. Oh, yes. Yes, he does now. Sacrificing the Dreadlord for the Mountain King. That's a good trade for sure. And the Breakers all diving deep for the Meat Wagon. Yeah, Maru has to send Flying Machine to the Tavern and get the MK back. Yeah, there's no way to win this without an MK. Sheik. Like half a minute away from Ross Brain Cup. The three elementals are pretty good against these A bombs, though. Their yeah, destroyers would be good. Destroyers don't get melee upgrades, though. We, we <laughs> do only things that get melee upgrades. Okay, yeah, right. Sorry, I forgot He's about that. He's eating through the breaker damage. Look at the cannibalize. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can't save this one, though, but denied it. Archmage, not nuked. Level 5, though. Lich this Gatling gun. A rather a big birder. Not the best attack speed, but the damage. A bombs are starting to fall, though. AM, Coil Nova, dead! Yep. Level 3 Coil. Pretty good at nuking things. In the meantime, Abomination ate the entire expansion. GG, well played. 2 0 for Sheik with mass undead melee. Hell yeah, dude. Juan, wow, you should have played that. <laughs> Damn, Sheik. Very cool tournament for both. Uh, one of the best solo tournaments for. Maru as well. So big up eliminating Wan and Star Shaped. It's really not the easiest task, but he did it. But then falling flat to Sheik, who is, uh, yeah. Who was most likely the strongest player going into this, but he prevailed in a strong grid against Lover, who's doing well against Enter. And there's only one more qualifier for Rust Brain Cup 9. And we're still lacking a human player. We have Cash and Spiral for or the Orcs. We have Terra and Sheik for the Undead. And Foggy, please, and Sonic for the Night Elf. Time for Thorzen and Hawk to step it up and show up. And Johnny Cage and Blade. We have many strong humans in Europe, but they're just not playing. Yeah. What's going on? I don't know. Blade was playing uh, the... I cannot remember this name of the cup. Clover, Clover Cup. cup. <laughs> oh yes. Every time I'm like, okay, I have to mention this tournament name now. Go Liquipedia. Go to <laughs> Ongoing. Look in the list. I'm like, oh, Clover Cup. Save. What about Human Shaped? <laughs> Primo, you know his Human, human Shaped can only play Pally Rifles. So, um, you know, that's the way it is. <laughs> okay. Damn, what a day. Nine hours of Warcraft 3 with the Clover Cup and Ross Brain Cup. And you know what? They will just continue. They will just continue tomorrow. We have the finals of Clover Cup with Remind versus Sini and Focus versus Sock. If all things go right, we get uh, the Eternal Zotec Cup final in 2019. That would be Remind versus Focus. Quite a blast from the past. And, of course, in the evening at 5 p.m., W3IL, the last play day of the group stage. It is UMAT, Cascade, Oceanus, Soviet War Elite, and Dust fighting for four slots to the playoffs. One of these great teams will not go into Season 2 playoffs, man. I can't... Un un unbelievable! 
The underdogs, of, the underdogs of Dust. I would be so sad if they not make the cut. Same for, like, all of the teams, but... We need a five-team yeah. playoffs duo. They're, they're gonna make it, dude. NA, just, just... Warcraft, best Warcraft is what I heard, so... They're gonna make it. Duro, just change the rules of the qualifiers. WGL made it before. Come on. Just make a five-team <laughs> playoff round robin. Wouldn't that be great? But game's happening at the same time, please. Yes. Ah, Hawk said he won't play Ross Brain Cup. Okay. Thanks for the info. So, Blade Thorzane. Step it up. And Johnny Cage, of course. Sit for today, though. It was we a good day. It was, was. a nice, nice long day. A little bit more clowny than yesterday, but, you know, <laughs> still mean, fun games. Yeah, it was the prelims of a Chinese weekly cup. It was a qualifier for us, Brain Cup. I think we can be a little more clowny and off topics, uh, off topic on those days. And yeah, that's it for today. If you want, you should actually help us out by following us on our social media, like our content, share our content, and comment on our content. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, every single click helps us to increase the reach, and that is always helpful for a project like us, who uh, has no big company behind them, no Blizzard features or whatever. You can also help us out financially, like many people did today. Super grateful for the contributions today. Uh, via Streamlabs, that is PayPal and credit card. You can buy our merchandise at shop.backtowarcraft.com. You can sub here on Twitch. And you can use the Amazon referral links to just give us a cut of whatever you buy at Amazon. We have a Discord where you can hang out with us. We have a YouTube where you can watch all the games that we cast. And bring you all the news about Reforged as well. And if I'm not mistaken, Remo, I covered it all. You got it, bro. Good okay. job. There's an interview with me on Kicker Esports on Heroes Hearth. There's a podcast on Heroes Hearth and esports.com. Where else? Oh, yeah, read more DE, but that's a little outdated. Yeah, Media Man Neo, if you want to read some stuff like my bullshit, uh, you can do it there. And Remo, what's uh, what's up this evening? What do you do? What's your late night I plans? Be better than Neo. If you haven't seen La La Land, <laughs> watch La La Land. Other than that, I'm going to be back uh, maybe tomorrow, but certainly on Monday. But yeah, that's it. See you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.